Graham's Law of Effusion. An unknown gas effuses at a rate that is 0.462 times that of nitrogen gas at the same temperature. Calculate the molar mass of the unknown gas in grams per mole. We're given a ratio of rates. That is, the rate of the unknown gas relative to the rate of nitrogen is 0 0.462. And we're asked to determine the molar mass of the unknown gas. So in our conceptual plan, we will take this ratio of rates and the known molar mass of nitrogen that we can calculate from the molar mass that we find on the periodic table for the element nitrogen. And we have a simple relationship that will allow us to calculate the molar mass of the unknown. And that relationship is Graham's law. And Graham's law says that the rate of any gas A over the rate of any gas B is equal to the square root of the molar mass of B over the molar mass of A. So there's an inverse relationship. The larger the, the atom or molecule, the slower the rate of effusion. So if we take this expression and square both sides, then solve for the molar mass of the unknown, we obtain that the molar mass of unknown is equal to the molar mass of the known, in this case nitrogen, divided by the ratio of the rate of the unknown over the rate of nitrogen squared. This is equal to 28.02 grams per mole is the molar mass of nitrogen, N2. And our ratio of rates is 0 0.462, which we must square. And this gives us our answer of 131 grams per mole. So checking our answer, our units are correct. We're looking for a molar mass, and our units are grams per mole. And the order of magnitude, the 131, also seems to be correct. 
as it is in the range of a typical molar mass. Uh, also, we, we see that the rate of effusion is lower than that of nitrogen. Therefore, we know this is a larger molecule.